Hello friends, uh, today I am going to explain a very important method to obtain particular integral of a second order linear differential equation. So this method is known as the undetermined coefficient method. In this method, Rx will play a very important role. What is Rx? Rx means right hand side value, means non-homogeneous part of given differential equation. Uh, suppose uh, this is our given equation at some constant so here right hand side part is known as rx rx will play a very important role in undetermined coefficient method so first I will explain theory so if Rx is which type x to the power n time means the non-homogeneous part which is given is algebraic type then it's a yp particular integral what we consider a0 plus a1x plus that is an x to the power n if 0 is not a root of auxiliary equation if 0 is not a root of auxiliary equation and right hand side is rx then it's a while particular integral is simply this one and what happened if 0 is root if 0 is a root then we have to go, to go for modification rule that called multiply with x to the power alpha with this particular integral if 0 is root of auxiliary equation with the multiplicity alpha means it came how many times alpha times then just multiply x to the power alpha with the given uh, this pi if right hand side is which type x to the power n correct now second what happened when right hand side is which type e to the power px type then its yp is c1 e to the power px if p is not a root of auxiliary equation and multiply x to the power alpha with this if p is root of auxiliary equation with the multiplicity alpha so my friends if right hand side is which type e to the power px type then it's pi it's very simple just write c1 e to the power px when when p is not a root of auxiliary equation if p is root and how many times alpha times then just multiply x to the power alpha in this third 
what happen if right hand side is cos qx or sin qx then its pi is c1 cos qx plus c2 sin qx if iq is not a root of auxiliary equation multiply it with this x to the power alpha if iq is a root of auxiliary equation with multiplicity alpha so it's very simple if right hand side is cos qx or sin qx anyone then just check iq is a root or not if iq is a root then check how many times it's repeated suppose it's came two times then multiply x square with this if iq is not root then simply cos c1 cos qx plus c2 sin qx is your yp now note down the chart because chart will play very important role now i am going to write when this is given with the product now friends with multiplication means suppose x to the power n cos qx or x to the power n sin qx is there then its yp is cos qx plus sin qx if iq is not a root if iq is a root with multiplicity alpha then multiply this with x to the power alpha cos qx just whatever you written for not a root just multiply with x to the power alpha if iq is a root with repeated how many times alpha times fifth if rx is this type or then just like e to the power px c1 cos qx plus c2 sin qx if p plus iq is not a root of auxiliary equation what happen if it is a root then multiply with x to the power alpha
¿Sí? Brutos. So, if Rx is e to the power Px cos Qx or e to the power Px sin Qx time, then just check P plus Iq is a root or not. If it's not a root, then it's Pi is e to the power Px c1 cos Qx plus c2 sin Qx. If it's a root, and how many terms? Alpha times, just multiply with x to the power alpha. And last one. What happens when three functions are there as a product? Then its pi is e to the power px c1 uh, a0 plus a1x plus an x to the power n cos qx plus p0 plus p1x sin qx if p plus iq is not a root of auxiliary equation and when it's a root then just multiply x to the power alpha here correct so uh, remember this table because this table will play very important role and once you know this table then easily you can write yp yp means particular integral once you retain yp then as name suggests undetermined coefficient method means whatever constants we have chosen just we have to determine that one and how we determine just go for y dash y double dash put in given equation and do it in next video i will explain with one example so before that please learn this table actually this table it's very easy to learn so please uh, do it and we'll meet in next video. Thank you.